let's see, we've got horizontal push, that's one, horizontal pull, that's two, vertical push, that's three, vertical pull, that's four, leg press, that's five, hamstrings, six, quads, seven, calves, eight, abdominals, nine, lower back, 10, biceps, 11, triceps, 12. That is a great starting beginner arrangement of exercises. But there's also plenty of exercises you can substitute, such as for a chest press, you could substitute a chest fly. For a pull down, you can substitute a pull over. For an overhead press, you can substitute a lateral shoulder raise. There are plenty of variations of row. There are plenty of variations of abdominal exercises. For a leg press, you can substitute a squat. You can substitute a lunge, a split squat, a deadlift. So you start with the basics, those 12 exercises, and then you make adjustments based on your individual ability to recover and adapt and preference. No matter what you choose, whether it's a pull down, a chin up, a pull over, direct work for the latissimus muscle group, the results at the end of the day are gonna be relatively the same. That's why a lot of people are looking for what is the best exercise for the lats, the best exercise for the chest. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. It's not going to make any noticeable difference which exercise you choose that addresses the muscle group. So it comes down to preference. The volume and frequency of this training. It must be a volume and frequency that you can recover from and adapt to. Some people can do all 12 of these exercises in one workout three times a week see results and feel recovered. Some people may only be able to do it once a week. It is up to you to track your progress, track how you feel, track your fatigue level, and determine what is an adequate, appropriate volume and frequency for you. Some people may develop such a deep level of fatigue per exercise that they cannot tolerate all 12 of these basic exercises in one workout in which case a split routine is going to be useful. Such as myself, when I do these four lower body exercises, I am absolutely dead for the rest of the day, in which case it would be counterproductive to add the upper body on top of it. You don't use a split routine in order to train muscles more. You use a split routine in order to avoid overtraining. DrStatress.com 